Kathy Woods, ARK Invest, filing for a Bitcoin ETF with the SEC. This will be called ARK 21 Shares Bitcoin ETF if approved. A number of companies have filed and are waiting for SEC approval on a similar offering. So sort of an uphill battle here. A lot of folks waiting on the SEC to approve this. Kathy Wood has a history with crypto and Bitcoin. Uh, she has been buying the dip here with proxies like Coinbase, GBTC on the dip here. And she's now cutting out the middleman and going for it herself. Uh, but again, uh, a Bitcoin ETF from ARK Invest, no word if and when the SEC will approve these. Hey guys, so this is some breaking news. Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has filed for a Bitcoin ETF with the SEC. Now we all know that Kathy Wood has been very open about her thesis on Bitcoin. She is very bullish on it and has been buying all the dips till now. But the problem with that was that she could not buy the actual Bitcoin. She was buying proxies of Bitcoin like the Coinbase stock or the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. With the Bitcoin ETF, she can actually own the asset. Now, if this actually gets approved, Kathy Wood's ETF will be called ARK21 Shares Bitcoin ETF and it will be traded under the ticker symbol ARKB. The ETF's objective would obviously be to track the performance of Bitcoin. The exchange traded fund or the ETF would hold Bitcoin and provide direct exposure to the digital asset. Now, for those of you who don't know, 21 shares is a European cryptocurrency issuer. And this makes a lot of sense because Cathy is on the board of 21 shares. This gives 21 shares penetration in the US market. There have been many big investment firms like Fidelity Investments, Grayscale Investments and Wisdom Tree Investments that have filed for a Bitcoin ETF. Now Bitcoin has been hovering around 34,000 for quite some time. Many traders and investors of Bitcoin are watching the price of Bitcoin very closely as it nears 30,000. 30,000 seem to be a good support right now. Many believe that it might actually go down to 20,000 before bouncing back. Now Bitcoin's price has been cut by around half, that is 50% since April highs. There have been many reasons behind it. Number one, China's crackdown on cryptocurrency. Number two, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeting about it and saying that Tesla won't accept Bitcoin anymore. And number three, some excessive risk taking by some traders who are selling it at the lows. Now obviously, Bitcoin is very volatile and Cathy Wood knows about it and they have mentioned it in the risk factors of their SEC filing. The S1 filing stated that the market value of Bitcoin is not related to any asset, government or an organization. The valuation of Bitcoin depends on the future expectations of the value of Bitcoin network, the number of transactions in Bitcoin and of course the overall usage of Bitcoin. This means that the value of Bitcoin is highly speculative in nature which in turn makes it very volatile for traders. And because of that volatility, the investors can gain or lose a lot of money. So far, there have been around 8 ETFs filed with the SEC and they all have been waiting for SEC's approval and the SEC keeps delaying their decision for approvals. This is because the SEC chairman Gary Gensler wants to protect the investors from the volatility of Bitcoin and he has been asking for more regulations in crypto exchanges. Now Coinbase, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, is a top 10 holding in Cathy Wood's flagship fund which is the ARK Innovation. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is also a top 10 holding in Cathy Wood's ARK Next Generation Internet ETF. Cathy says that she sees a future where Bitcoin is a part of a balanced investment portfolio. Now ARK Invest estimates that if 1% of every company in the S&P 500's corporate cash were converted into Bitcoin, then the assets price would balloon by more than $40,000 from its current levels. And if the cash level increased to 10% from each company in the broader stock index, Bitcoin's price would increase by more than $400,000. Now Gary Gensler, the SEC chairman, is not totally against Bitcoin. Gary has taught a digital currency class at the MIT. And due to this, Cathy believes that there is a real chance that the first Bitcoin ETF may be improved under the administration of Biden. Now, Cathy Wood has a very big fan following. You would expect the Bitcoin's price to move up a lot on news like this. But that hasn't happened. Bitcoin has been pretty stable around the 34,000 mark till now. But this is a very good level to watch out for because Bitcoin can push up a lot from here. Cathy Wood has been very bullish on cryptocurrencies and especially Bitcoin. She says that Bitcoin could go up to 500,000. She has said that in a recent Bloomberg interview. I mean, you at one point, I think back in April, told Dow Jones that it could go to about 
$500,000. Do you still hold that target? Do you still think that's where we're headed? I, I, we do, I do. Yasin El Mandra is our uh, crypto analyst, and and uh, we we go through soul searching times like this and and scrape the models. And yes, our conviction is as high. The one thing that has changed here, however, is the environmental concerns around uh, Bitcoin in particular have mm -hmm. uh, caused. Uh, people like Elon Musk to pull away and say, whoa, 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 let, let me let me make sure I understand this. What happens, though, in the meantime? So here we are at 35,000, Kathy. Do you think we go much lower from here? Uh, you never know how low is low when a market gets very emotional. Uh, a lot of traders see Bitcoin uh, dropping below the 200 day moving average, uh, which right. is which was at 40,000. Uh, so traders, once that happened, they just dump. Some just uh, dump and run. Uh, I think we're in a capitulation phase. Uh, Yassin has uh, a dashboard. We were looking at all the indicators this morning. They are all suggesting that we are in the capitulation phase, which is a really great time to buy, uh, no matter what the asset is. A capitulation phase is buy, it's on sale. Now, am I saying 35,000 is the low? You know, if traders, uh, and there are a lot of speculators in, in Bitcoin, if they are uh, running for the hills just because uh, Bitcoin has broken through a moving average that is important to them, it could continue. But uh, all of our indicators are saying this is capitulation right now. Do you have a low point on your model for Bitcoin? No, these metrics uh, are, are more a, a measure. Uh, are we in a truly capitulation phase? Okay. And it's very detailed. Yassine uses on-chain analysis, which this is the only asset where you can see exactly who's doing what, when, why, and how. Uh, and all of those metrics are saying, this is a capitulation. This is as as bad as it got during the coronavirus crisis. Now for all the crypto fans and especially Bitcoin fans around the world, this is a very big news because Cathy Wood has a lot of following and this might just push the price up and also call for a strong case to build a Bitcoin ETF. Right now, there are a few Bitcoin ETFs in Canada and Latin America. So this might be a very strong case for the USA also to build a Bitcoin ETF. Now there are a few reasons why the SEC is delaying the approval of a Bitcoin ETF. Number one is that they say it is too volatile and the investors can lose a lot of money in very little time. Number two is that they believe that Bitcoin is used in a lot of illegal activities and they do not want to be a part of that. And number three is that they might not have a lot of control on the cryptocurrencies and of course they would want to be in control of it. But with Cathy Wood entering the race, things are surely getting hot, whatever happens from now on there's a strong case for Bitcoin to go much higher from here. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this move by ARK Invest and Cathy Wood? And also, what do you think is the future of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general? Thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.